Hello and welcome back to a page-by-page -page review of Dune by Frank Herbert. Today is page 564, and uh, what kind of caught me off guard is that this chapter ends rather abruptly. We have a chapter ender, which, as you know, for those longtime followers and subscribers and fans of a page-by-page -page review of Dune, those dedicated supporters out there in the trenches, commenting, liking, subscribing, uh, purchasing the merch from Redbubble, the exclusive a page by page review of, of Dune merch. Uh, know that these are pages that we enjoy and love here as they offer a bit of white space. And that's not um, to knock our beloved Frank Herbert, who wrote a page by who wrote Dune that we are page by page reviewing. But uh, Frank Herbert, uh, in choosing, kind of ends this chapter as Paul uh, wonders about his mother and his future sister and the because his mother is pregnant and how they fit into his like ability to see the future uh, and he uh, talks thinks about the sketch and whatnot but then he hears rustles and rustles in the in the curtains and whatnot and sees a nine-year-old and a ten-year-old boy waiting outside and each of them have kin jaws and uh, with little Chris knives on them and that they are ready and willing to fight and he remembers that uh, the Fremen's children fight as ferociously as their adults, and this is a culture that we can see that Paul and them are going to set up and try to use in an event to take um, back his dukedom. That's what we're going to see. Um, and we're going to, as this continues, we're going to keep reading Dune by Frank Herbert uh, tomorrow, 565.